Good morning everybody and welcome to Thursday's AMRAP workout. Now, for those of you who've done these before, you know what's coming. You have four rounds, okay, four minutes each round and you've got to try and get as many uh, sets in as you can in each round, okay. We're all going to do it together, we're all going to do it live. The timer is on for four minutes and you get a one minute rest in between. Um, round one is with weights. But again, if you haven't got any weights, don't fret. Again, you can find things around your home. If you did circuits on Tuesday, use the same things you used on Tuesday, all right? Then round two is gonna be a little like a mini hit. No, uh, no weights required at all. Round three, we're back into the uh, weights once more. And then of course, we always finish off with that dreaded core round where we really burn out our core and our abs, all right? We don't like the last round. Even I don't even like the last round because by then I'm done in. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go through all the exercises, um, sorry, now we we'll do a warm up, then we'll go through all the exercises, and I want you guys to practice whatever version you can do, with or without weight, um, and then we'll get on with it, alright? Just a quick note, tomorrow is a brand new hit step release, I've put it on all my social media, so if you've missed it, or you haven't seen it, check it out, um, there's a little one minute video of the finisher tomorrow, it's banging, the music tomorrow is absolutely banging, it's the new hit step release called Essential. It is 27 minutes long, and I cannot wait to try it out with you guys tomorrow. So if you've never tried hit step before, and you want to give it a go, please do. You don't need a step, but obviously it is called hit step for a reason, because obviously you do need a step. But I will show the exercises without a step as well. So that's for tomorrow. Right, let's get our watches set. Let's, well, what are we do? It's not high intensity, is it? It's, uh, I'm to think what it is. Strength training, that'll do. Okay, right, let's do this. Wrist rolls first, guys. Let's go. All right, arms out in front, lean forward, hold out that stretch. So, 20 minute workout, working the whole body. We're gonna feel great at the end of this. Arms behind, shoulder blades together, chest up. Got the door open today, God, it's warm. Sprint in the air. From there, let's do those arm circles. So let's really loosen up those shoulders. Come on, guys, let's get those shoulders out. Okay, bring them back in. Right, from there, we're gonna go down for a squat. So feet shoulder width apart, we squat down, and then we rotate over our shoulders. So we do five, like wood chops if you like. Three, four, five, and we switch. So squat and rotate. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, keeping those feet in that shoulder width position, we're now gonna start squatting. So head and chest up, nice and deep in the squat. Okay, heels on the floor. You know the drill, guys, you know how to do a squat. Okay, we're gonna do five more, and then we're into those lunges. Are we ready? Three, two, that's one, one. Good, right, into those lunges now. So I want five on one leg, don't mix it up. Five on one leg first. Three, nice and deep with the lunges. Go as low as you can, five. All right, switch it up. Five on the other leg. Now when we've done the forward lunges, we're then gonna go into reverse lunges. Three, two more, four, last one, and five. Okay, back to the original leg. We go backwards now. Five backwards, two. Really warm those legs up. Three, four, five, and switch. Really giving the legs a good warm up now. Two, three, four, last one. Five, good, okay, let's go down for that side lunge. So all your weight onto one side. What happened there? I lost my signal. So, into that um, side lunge. Hold it, three, two, one, we switch. Switch sides. Okay, keeping those legs nice and wide. Slight bend in the knee, and we rotate through the shoulders. Let's go. Come on. Get that rotation in, let's go. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. That's fantastic stuff, guys. Right, let's do those hamstrings. So, tuck your fingers underneath your toes, crouch down, and we stand nice and tall. Keep your legs nice and straight. Hopefully straight in the mind, because my flexibility is shocking. Okay, back down again. And stand tall, hold it out. Four, three, two, one, stand up, nice and slowly. Okay, let's not forget these shoulders and the chest. So, palms facing down. 
Let's go, swing the arms. So keep those palms facing down. Swing the arms back and forth. Okay, then palms facing towards each other. Again, like you're trying to clap your hands, but you're missing. Keep it going, three, two, one. Right, get in them shoulder rolls. Come on, 10 seconds of shoulder rolls. Let's do it, nice and quick. We go forwards first. Four, three, two, one. Now we go backwards. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's great stuff, guys. Got to be nice and loose from the top. Let's finish off with a couple more with the legs. So, knee up, out to the side, hip rotations. Knee up and out. Three outwards. Three out. Bring it back in. One, two, and three. Same with the side, knee up and out. One, two, three. Bring it in, let's go. One, two, three, go outwards. One, two, three. Right, we've done all that. I think we did about 20 of those. Right, on tip toes. So tip toes up and down. Okay, then on your heels. Awesome stuff. Right, standing in one position, guys. I want you on tip toes. Then weight those heels. So tip toes, heels, keep going. Three more, one, two, that's one, three. A few ankle rolls, just to make sure we're okay at the bottom half. Excellent, right, okay. Trying to grab your weights, guys. We're gonna practice these exercises. So, your first exercise. All these exercises in round one are gonna be 10 reps of each, and we just keep going for the timer, okay? So your first exercise is an Arnold press. Okay, watch what I'm doing here, guys. So, if you look, I'll do it sideways, I'm looking at my wrists. Okay, my wrists are facing towards me. Then my arms go out. Okay, so my wrists are facing away from me. And then I press up to the ceiling, okay? Then back down, wrists facing, wrists away, up. That is your movement, okay? So wrists facing you, so you can look at your wrists and your knuckles. Then away from you, up, down, in. So just practice two or three of those. Okay, I'll slow it down so you can do it with me. So wrist facing you, wrist away from you, up. Okay, you've got to do 10 of those. They're your Arnold presses, okay? From there, you've got lateral and frontal raise. So don't you rush it like this and go, yeah, come on, I'll get 10 done. Take your time, okay? So hold it, hold it, and down. So what that is, it's a two second hold. One, two, one, two, down. If you notice, I'm not swinging. I'm not doing any of this, all right? It's a movement from your lateral to your frontal and then down, okay? Lateral, frontal, down. That's 10 of those. So that is one rep, okay? So lateral, frontal, down. That's one, lateral, frontal, and that's two, okay? So you keep going in that, in that order. Then you've got your bent over rows. We've done these many times before. Slight bend in your knee, pelvis and hip go back, so you push, push yourself backwards, automatically look. As soon as you stick your bum back, your back is in a straight line, okay? Your neck is in line with your spine, and you drive those weights up to your chest and back down. Again, use the weights you can use. If you've got one heavy weight, again, it doesn't matter if you use one heavy weight and it goes into your chest. As long as you pinch those shoulder blades together, so I'll show you from behind, my neck and my chest are up, okay? Neck and chest are up, and the weight goes into the chest. You should feel that in your back. That's the whole purpose of that exercise. 10 of those. Then you've got your dumbbell swings. And this is the point where you get a kettlebell if you've got one. If not, use what weights you've got. If you've only got small weights like me to do, obviously do this warm up, you put them together. Okay, slight bend in your knee again. Neck, a bit of it's like a bent over row, but this time you're bending down a lot further. And then when you come up, you squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings. So this works the back of your legs. I don't want people looking to the floor like that and then swinging because you'll really hurt your lower back. So visualize something in front of you. Swing, head up, chest up, and obviously it's more of a leg motion. Don't use the back for that one. That's round one. Bear with me, guys. Round two, reverse lunge into a forward kick. So reverse lunge, pretty much like what we've just done. Reverse lunge into a forward kick. Pretty straightforward, then you switch sides. Reverse lunge, forward kick. Now balance is gonna be key for this one, so you have to make sure your core's tight. So reverse lunge into a forward kick. Switch sides, okay? One kick is one rep. So one, two, three, four, and so on, okay? 10 of those. 10 lateral squat jumps. Laterally, obviously go across your room, either vertically or horizontally, it's completely up to you. 
feet shoulder width apart. You do a squat and you jump and you do another squat. Jump, squat side to side. Now if you can't jump, do a squat, take one big step to the side and then squat. Now whether, whatever room you've got for that, completely up to you. So that's your lateral squat jumps, 10 of those. 10 sprint ladders. Now, when you sprint ladder, you've got to do one each side. So you've got to sprint and obviously go up your ladder. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what I mean, the pattern. So you've got to do one each side, count to 10 reps. So one, two, three, four, and so on. Knees up as well with that. So visualize yourself climbing the ladder, you've got to count to your 10. That's gonna get your heart rate right up. And then you finish off with a single leg hop. So pretty much you're doing five single leg hops on each leg, obviously. So again, into the reverse lunge, instead of a kick, you do a hop, okay? So let me show you. So you do a reverse lunge and you hop. So your knee comes forward, all right? You hop up, so your knee comes up this one. So you reverse lunge, hop, so knee up to your chin, have a slight little hop off the floor. If you can't do that, okay, do your reverse lunge, you're just bring your knee up. So reverse lunge, knee up. Alternate your side, so do one on one side, one on the other for 10 reps. So basically you only do five on each leg on that, okay? Bear with me guys, we're into round three. Squat curls, so it's where your weights come back in. Now, 10 squat curls, exactly that. You've got to squat, you can have your elbows on top of your knees, and you're gonna curl, okay? So you stay in that squat position while you're curling your uh, dumbbells, okay? So as you curl, sideways on, looks like this. Okay, elbows on the top of your knees, but make sure you get that full curl in. You'll feel that in your legs, not only just your arms, your legs as well. Then you've got a standing curl. Now, with this curl, you're gonna have to go light. The reason being is, your arms are gonna be out wide and you're curling into your ears or into your face, okay? Arms are gonna stay up, fully extend your arms, curl them into your head, fully extend, okay? Sideways on looks like this, head and chest up, okay, you don't swing. That's gonna hurt your arms big time. From there, you've got a tricep kick back. I want both dumbbells in your hand for this one. Again, resume that, posi sorry, resume that position that you had for your bent over rows, okay? But your elbow's gonna start back and you're gonna fully extend. So look where my elbows, look where my hands end up. It's almost like past my bum. My elbows are quite high. I'm locking out my elbows so I can feel that in my triceps. And then you finish off with the sofa or chair dips. So find a chair or a sofa. And again, legs are either out straight and you're dipping up and down, or you bring your legs in and you dip up and down. Again, fully extending those elbows. Into your core round, we've got Russian twists. We've got 10 reverse crunch twists. So you do a reverse and a twist. I'll show you those as and when. 10 in and outs, and then five hot hands. So, with that last minute, I'm gonna show you those, okay, rather than us getting cooled down now. Right, so, if you remember what we were doing, right back to the start with the Arnold Press. Quick drink, or off. So, 10 of everything. 10 Arnold Presses, 10 lateral frontal raise, 10 bent on over rows, and 10 dumbbell swings. Remember, it is your workout. Don't try and keep up with me, because if you do, and you're not getting the full reps in, you're not doing the exercises right. Okay, all right, let's do it. What weight do I want? Let's start with fives, let's see how we get on. Right, four minutes on the clock, guys. How many rounds can we do? Are we ready? Get on with it, I can eat say. Right, ready, three, two, one, let's go. Right, four minutes on the clock. So, Arnold Press, remember, follow me if you need to. Should have practiced these so we know how to do each exercise. Three, one, four, no rush, five, Let's go, six, seven, keep it going. At your own pace, count your own numbers. That's one, 10, okay, so your lateral frontal raises, I'm changing my weights. So, that's one, two, come on, make sure you feel it, don't rush. Three, oh, four, come on. How many rounds can we get in? How many sets can we get in? Oh, five. I feel this in my shoulders already. Six, oh, come on. Out wide, into the middle. Wide, middle, down. Nine, that's one. Wide, middle, oh, 10. Good, right, bent over rows. So, pelvis back. Let's go, Just one. Squeeze and hold. Two, it's not a race. Three. It's about keeping going for the four minutes. Four, come on. Five, head and chest up. 
six. Your neck should be in line with that spine. Don't bend. Eight, go. Let's go. Nine, come on, last one. Ten, good, excellent. All right, swings. Let's go. So, if you've got a big dumbbell, use it. If you've got a kettlebell, use it. Two, three, sideways on. Four. So, neck in line with the spine. Squeeze your glutes. Six. Squeeze your butt. Eight. Come on. Nine. Ten. Good. Right, that's my first one done. Let's go again. One down. All the pressures go. One. Keep with it, guys. Come on. Two. Let's get that RPE rate up. Come on. Sevens and eights today at least. Three. Four. Feel that burn in those shoulders. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Keep it on that timer. Come on. Push through. How many rounds can we go? Come on. Ten. Right, lateral front. Let's do this with four. Come on. One. Sideways on. Cross that middle. When you go across the middle, it's got to be across your front of your face. Don't get them out low. So when you do that frontal raise and you bring them across, it's got to be high. Six, come on. Come on. Eight. Oh, nine, come on, this is getting tough now. Heavy weights. Ten, oh. Let's go. So push yourself. If you've got the heavy weights, use them. Until you can't do any more and then you fatigue. Come on. Squeeze. Pinch those shoulder blades. Four. Squeeze, five, elbows back. Six, good, come on, feel this in your back. Seven, eight, come on. Squeeze it, nine, ten, oh. Let's go, swing, swing, swing. I'll show you sideways on, guys, bend the knees. Look at my head, look at my spine. Anything moving really is my arms and my legs. Four, come on, let's go. Five, squeeze your butt, squeeze the hammies at the top. That's what it's for. Come on. Nine. Ten. Oh, it's two down. I'm keeping going. Come on. Let's go. Third time. Oh. Into my third round. What are you doing, guys? Come on. Push yourself. Again, don't. It's not a race. It's your workout. Do as many rounds as you can. If you only just started your second, that's fine. Let's go. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Oh. Eight. Nine. Oh, well done. Excellent, guys. Got two rounds in and a bit. Starting my third. Well done. Okay, look at the clock, guys. We have a minute rest. We're going to need it. That's a great start. I feel that in my shoulders and my back, definitely. Okay, so into round two. Remember, we've got a reverse lunge into that kick. So kick out forward. Uh, five on each side. That makes ten. Then you've got your lateral squat jump. So we're jumping and we're squatting. Sprint ladder, one, two, three, four to 10. Then your single leg hop, so again, reverse lunge, but this time you do a hop and you bring your knee up rather than kicking it out. 25 seconds left, are we ready? Second round's gonna kill me, I know it is. Mm. All legs, pretty much. Yeah, it is all legs. Legs, 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 are we ready? 10 seconds. Woo, God, my heart breaks up now. Right, 10 reverse lunges into kick. So we do five each side. Are you ready? Here we go. Two, one. Let's go. So reverse lunge, kick forward, switch legs. Or you want to do five on one and five on the other. It's completely up to you. You don't have to switch if you don't want to. You can just do five on each leg. Four. Oh. Come on, deep reverse lunge. I'm at six. Oh. Seven. Eight. Come on, nice reverse lunge into the kick out. Last one, 10, right, lateral squat jumps. Let's go, one, two, if you can't jump, walk it. Three, head up, chest up, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, oh, 10, oh, sprint ladders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, right, here we go, reverse. Into the hop. So single leg hop. I'm gonna do five on one leg for this one. Two. Uh, hop it. Three. Knee up. Four. Oh. Let's go. Five. It's harder when you do one at a time. When you do five in one. One. Oh, balance. Take the time, Chris. Come on. Two. Three. Oh, come on. 
four, deep lunge, five, right, back into reverse lunges, it's a kick, five on one leg, here we go, oh, one, and we'll do five on one leg, two, three, keeps more tension on that leg then, four, oh, five, come on, oh, oh legs are burning already, two, come on, three, four, ah, oh, five, right, lateral squat jump, this gets me, this does, Okay, come on. One, two, three, four, come on. Head up, chest up, five, six, come on. Seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. Oh, legs, come on, come on, sprint. One, two, three, four, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, single leg hop, come on. Hop, reverse lunge, come on. Two, get that hop in. Three, oh. Burn the legs, come on. Four, feel it. Five, oh. Quads are on fire. One, come on. Two, ah. Three, ah. Four, come on, Chris. Ah. Five, oh. Two rounds done and my quads are dead. Let's go, reverse lunge to kick. Ah. A lot of reverse lunges, but good for your legs. Two, come on. Three. Ah, kick now. Four. Ah, five. Oh, six. Come on. Seven. Ah, eight. Into a third round now. Nine. Oh, ten. This is what gets me. Squat jumps. Right, one. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Five. Come on. Six, seven, deep squat, eight, nine, oh, come on, ten, oh, oh, come on, sprint like that, come on, Chris, one, two, three, four, five, push it now, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, come on, hops again, one, two, oh, three, Four, come on. Five. Push it. Reverse lunge into that kick, into that hop. One. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Oh. Legs are gone. Five. Oh. I've got three rounds in. Just. Man. All those reverse lunges on my legs. Oh. Okay. We're now into round three. We're flying through this, guys. Okay, squat curls. Wonderful, squats, really brilliant. So remember your curls for your weights, squat and curl. Then you've got your standing curl, again with weights. Tricep kick back. So again, lean, arms go back, elbows don't move, and then your sofa chair dips. What have we got? 27 seconds, God, I need it. Oh, how was that round, guys? That was tough. Oh. Mm. Okay, my legs are like jelly, yeah, it's not mine. Oh. Right guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Grab your weights, we're squat and curling. So stay in a squat, we curl. Five seconds left, here we go. Oh. Two, one, so let's go. One, 10 curls, two, three, oh. all the way down, four, five, six, two, come on, squeeze it. No, my legs are burning. 10. Okay, standing curls. I'm gonna go for fours for this, this is hard. Okay, arms locked out straight into the side of your head. Draw your hands into your ears. Three, fully lock out. Four, if you can't do it with weight, drop it. Five, come on. Six, seven, come on guys. Eight, curl it into that face. Nine, 10. Okay, tricep kickbacks. Elbows past my torso, squeeze behind, squeeze. Two, don't rush it, squeeze. Three, come on. Four, good, maintain this. Five, elbows back, squeeze, lock them out. Seven, feel it in your triceps. Eight, nine, come on. Ten, okay, it's your dips. Two triceps back to back. All the way down, flex at the top. 
Fully lock out your elbows. Two. If you can't do a full one, bring your knees in. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Don't rush it. I want you to squeeze and hold at the top. Six. Seven. Squeeze and hold at the top. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Right. Let's go back into the curls. Once more. Oh. One round done. One. Two. Head up, chest up, guys. Three. Four. Arms out in front. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Squeeze. Ten. Oh. Right, fours again. Let's go. Oh. In your own time. Two. Make sure you do these reps properly. Three. Squeeze it into your head. Four. Five. Core tight. Six. Lock those arms out. Seven. Uh, squeeze. Eight. Nine. Core. Ten. Oh. Okay, tricep kickbacks. Let's go. One. Head and chest up, guys. Make sure you're in line. Elbows are back. Don't let them move, though. Elbows tight. Squeeze. Squeeze. Five. Keep back. Six. Come on. Seven. Both at the same time. Eight. Come on. Nine. Squeeze. Ten. Oh, my God. My triceps are on fire now. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Dips. One. Squeeze. Two. It's not a race. Three. If you're doing them too quick and you can't feel it in your arms, slow the reps down. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. Squeeze. Come on. Ten. Good. Right. Back in again. Here we go. Oh. Let's go. Third time. One. Keep those heels on the floor, guys. In that squat. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ah. Oh, seven. Eight. It's getting tough now. Come on. Nine. Ah. Oh, ten. Right. I've got a lot of the weights for these curls. Arms are dead now. Which is good. It means it's working. One. I'm up to an eight. Definitely. Two. Squeeze. Three. Oh, four. Come on. Fully extend the arms. Curl into your face. Six. Come on. Uh, seven. Keep working. Come on. Eight. Nine. Uh, ten. Oh. Keep back. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to get your third round done. One. Two. Squeeze. Come on. Three. Don't rush it. Four. Oh, five. Nearly got three in. Yes, not quite. Okay, into your final round, guys. We're into the cut of the uh, core. So listen up, pay attention while you're grabbing a drink. We do 10 Russian twists. So whether you want to wait or not, it's up to you. Okay, elbows back, feet on the floor, rotating side to side, 10 of those. If you want to use a weight, you're more than welcome to. Then you've got your reverse crunch with a twist. So this is the point when you get to the top, you rotate one way, back down, Get to the top, turn your feet the other way, up, twist, down, up, twist, down, okay? Then you've got 10 in and out. So visualize you've got something in front of you. Hand placement behind you, crunch in, out, into your chest, out. So visualize you've got something in front of you that you obviously have got to go around. And then five hot hands. So you're in plank position, slow and controlled, each side. Okay, let's do this. So, Russian twist, let's go, four minutes. If you're stuck about how to do the hot hands, follow me, three, four, squeeze it, five, get that elbow back, six, elbow's gotta go back, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, oh, that hurts. Okay, reverse crunch, twist at the top, back down, we're doing ten of these, twist at the top, two, twist, at three, oh, Twist at the top, four. Don't let the heels touch the floor, five. Top, twist, six, you'll feel that now. Oh. Twist, seven. If you don't want to twist, just do a normal reverse crunch. Eight, it's your workout. Twist, oh. nine, that's one. Twist, oh. ten. Ten in and out. Right, I'm going to put a weight in the middle of the floor to show you that. So, are you ready? Get your weights if you can. Hands behind you, one. Two, three, oh, into your chest. Four, oh, this hurts. Five, six, lean back. Seven, oh, eight, nine, you'll feel that in your lower back. Ten, 
Well, that's one down. Got to sit a hot hand, sorry. So, plank position. Hands go up to your chest. Five. Two. Don't swing like this. Don't need to. Hand goes up to your chest. Three. Keep that core tight. Don't swing. Five. That's it. You're going to do five. Then back into those Russian twists once more. Let's go. Let's move that out of the way. Right, let's go. So, elbow back. Two. Feet off on the floor. Three. Lean back. Four. Elbow back. Five. Hold follow it. Six. Oh. Hey, core. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Right. Reverse crunches with a twist. Let's go. Up. Twist. That's one. Up. Two. Oh. Come on. Oh, that's three. Oh, that's four. Come on. Oh. Five. Five to go. Come on. If you go past it, in and out to the next. Six. Seven. Oh. Oh, eight. Oh, come on, Chris. Twist, nine. Last one, let's go. Ten. Oh, oh my days. Right. In and out. Get your weight. If you've got one, put it in front of you. Don't knock it over. Let's go. One, two, three. Fully extend. Four, five. Oh, my days. This is it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Okay, into those hot hands. Oh, plank position. Hand up, one. Weight forward, two. Slow control, three. Oh, four. That's one, five. Oh, right, we're still going, aren't we? Oh, man. Russian twist. Feet on the floor, elbow back, one. Lean back, two. You should really feel this, three. Come on, four. Ah, come on, Chris. Five, six. Seven, eight, come on, nine, ten, oh, oh, reverse crunches, come on, one, two, oh. three, oh, can't hurt, oh, let's go, four, five, breathe out, come on, concentrate on your breathing, six, twist, Seven. Oh, oh, come on. Eight. Oh. Nine. God, get the ten. Oh, well done. Oh, oh my days. Oh, just stay down here, guys. That was horrific. Oh, that was all right till the finisher. Oh, I hate core. Oh. Oh, my days. Wow, 20 minutes, we're done. Absolutely epic, guys, well done. Oh, 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 wow. I don't know about you guys, but my core. Oh, burning. Oh, oh. oh. Guys, oh. How was that? Please tell me that was difficult. It wasn't just me being a pink dress. Oh, I was gonna be, I got stretched out, I'm getting cramp in my core. Oh, my abs are on fire right now. Oh. Guys, well done. Well done, guys, for pushing through. Sorry I didn't explain the core round that well, but I didn't want to go into every single exercise too much because we'll be cooling down otherwise. Mm. So I hope you guys managed to do what you could do in that core round. Again, if it was too tough, um, you could then sit ups. Again, if you want this workout to go over again, you can do. Just got in from being a sort of evolved, but yes. Fab, but flipping out on that lunge. Yeah, them lunges were evil, weren't they? Them reverse lunges. We don't do a lot of reverse lunges in my workouts. So I put two lots in today. And Christ, my, my quads are burning right up here but absolutely awesome guys. So give yourself a round of applause. Again, it's short, it's sweet, but you tell me that you didn't get a calorie burn in that. So what was your RPE guys? I definitely got mine up to a nine in that core finisher, I'm not gonna lie. Core is not my favorite. Nine, eight and nine, definitely. Definitely, abs are hurting, yep. Awesome. 
That core hurt, definitely an eight to ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Everybody else is feeling it, not just me, thank God. So guys, well done. Give yourselves high fives, give me high fives and fist pumps. Come on, fist pumps, high fives. Let's all do it to our screen. Come on, well done. Well done, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back because you guys deserve it. You are the heroes, you are the ones who are turning up each and every day. And obviously, I take my hat off and bow down to every single one of you because you guys are absolutely epic. And I'm telling you what, oh, it hurts, didn't it? You wouldn't think it fatigued so quick, but because it's such a small area, my God. So without a doubt, the core was the worst, followed by the lunges. Without, I mean, the lunges in round two, my legs were just burning. So we're gonna get on the mat or on the floor. We're gonna do the child's pose into the cobra three times to really stretch out all our core muscles. And then we'll go into the leg stretches. So don't forget guys, take your pictures, send us in your videos, keep commenting and sharing and liking, because you guys are epic. So, let's do this. Oh, God, I'm glad that one's over. <laughs> so, down to the child pose, let's go. Hold it out. Three, two, one. We go down to the mat, arm fully extended at the top, arms locked out, chest up, head up, hold it. Oh, it's a great stretch. Oh. Three, two, one. One, okay, back into that child pose, once more. Stretch your arms forward. Three, two, one, we go down into the mat. Almost like your chin touches the mat, and then we're up. Let's hold this out, come on. Three, two, one, we go back in, final time. Child pose. Then breath throughout, guys. Three, two, one. We go down to the mat and we're up. Focus on your breathing. Nice deep breaths. Stretch it out. Three, two, one. Good stuff, guys. Right, while we're still down in that low position, in some lunges. Okay, we're going forward and back. Rocking. When we count you down from three, we're going to lean forward. Three, two, one. So touch the floor, lean forward, back knee off the floor, and stretch. Three, two, one. We change sides. So let's get that rocking motion. Okay, when I count you down from three down to one, we stretch forward. Okay, three, two, one. One, again, lean forward, back knee off the floor. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, when we stand up, guys, we come up nice and slowly. I'm gonna down from five. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Nice deep breaths in. Hold it. Deep breath out. Good stuff. Okay, from there we do that quad stretch. Heel up to your bum. Let's hold that out. Three, two, one. The same leg. We're going to go up to our, into our chest now. Now, if you have to hold onto the wall, then obviously hold onto something. Don't fall over. I want you to try and get that knee right into your chest. Push it in from the shin. Three, two, one. One, so chain sides, we're now do quad stretch from behind. Okay, into the front again, so knee up, into that chest, let's go. Three, two, one, that's fantastic guys. Right, let's go down for that side lunge. All your weight onto one side, hold it out. Okay, let's drop down to the floor, point those toes up to the ceiling. Again, if you can touch the toes, pull back on the toes. If not, don't worry. 
Get those toes nice and high. Great stuff, right, switch sides. Okay, down to the floor, point your toe up to the ceiling. Pull back on the toes once more. Three, two, one. Again, stand up nice and slowly. You can now from three, two, one. Deep breath in. Breathe it out. Good stuff. Okay, finish off a few more. So tricep extension. Hand down the middle of your spine, push down on top of the elbow. So we need all these stretches today after what we've done. <laughs> okay, sweet sides. So down, down your shoulder blade, push down on top of the elbow. Okay, from there, reach out, arms out, locked out in front. Stretch over to one side. Okay, let's do it, straight sides. Okay, from there, bring them to the center, stretch forward, hold it out. Okay, arms behind, shoulder blades together, chest up. Okay, finish off, final stretch, arm across your chest, pull it in nice and tight. Okay, switch sides. That is fantastic, you're all done guys, thank you so much, every single one of you for joining me today for that AMRAP workout. How did you find it guys? Give it a rating out of 10. I was definitely a nine, without a doubt, on that finisher with that core. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share, tell your friends, tell your family, because remember, we're in this together, okay? If you know somebody who really wants to get themselves fit and in their best possible shape this year, for when summer's around the corner, then please do get in touch because I can guarantee I will give you your summer body if you join the Chris Fit crew, all right? So have a fantastic day, enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine while we can, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the brand new hit step release called Essential at 9.30. So thanks guys, hope you had a great workout, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.